All right, guys, here is an update on the quail hutch. I'm going to throw a disclaimer out there. My carpentry skills are elementary at best. I've learned a lot throughout this process. Uh, I've made a lot of mistakes, done a lot of things the long way and the hard way. So that's really why I didn't bother uh, recording step by step how I did this because it probably would have been a little boring and a little frustrating. But I'll, I'll show you where I am right now. I'm pretty close to being done. This side here is going to be um, the side that is going to be enclosed. Okay, I'm going to put a door on there as well. And then this larger side here will be mesh, or hardware cloth rather, in the front. With a, They're both going to have drop down doors. And um, so I did put the hardware cloth on the inside. And I did that so that, you know, little critters couldn't try and pull it off quite as easily. Now I did staple the bottom layer of hardware cloth from the outside. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some fender washers and just put probably three or four of them on each each long side and then maybe two or three on the short sides so that if they do try and pull out the staples they're not going to they're not going to make much progress. I think that'll be just fine. The top of uh, the roof is actually is obviously you know plywood. Here's a side view. You can kind of see why I put the hardware cloth on the inside so that they can't kind of can't try and pull them off, pull the staples off. I did frame it that way on purpose. I know this looks a little bit weird, but I, I did frame it so that uh, I didn't want these lips, these edges on the inside because they're just going to get on there and dirty them all up. So I tried to make it as flat on the inside as possible. Of course, I, in order to make the doors, that meant I did need to frame this up a little bit so that it's flush with the outside. Some of these screws need to be put in a little deeper because I was using a really low quality screw gun. Uh, so I, I went out yesterday actually to Home Depot and bought myself a, a decent contractor grade screw gun. So, you know, some of these screws that my other screw gun was just not able to get in as deep as it needed to be. Here's a good example right here. So, let's show you this side too. This side doesn't look pretty. Plywood, I didn't, I didn't cut it straight. I can zoom in so you can see that. So, but I didn't, I didn't want to fix it. I figured, whatever. I didn't want to waste plywood with the price of plywood right now. I, I'll deal with the uneven edges. And that was just a, you know, element, like I said, an elementary mistake of um, what I was measuring. I needed an extra set of hands so I could make a straight line. I tried to do it by myself with a tape measure and I just moved a little bit. And that's what happened. So here we are. The next step that I'm going to do is going to be making these doors, I think, first. And then I'm going to put the legs on. I know I probably could have put the legs on first, but um, the story behind that is I ended up coming home from Home Depot with not enough wood. So until I get a chance to you know, get more wood, I figured I would just start, start building this. And I do, have some, I do have enough in there right now to probably either do the legs or do the doors one or the other, or do the doors and have a little leftover. So I think I'm gonna work on the doors, plus it's easier, I think, on this for me to, for me personally to work on the table here than it would be to, um, you know, I guess probably do, do it the proper way, the way you're supposed to do it. I did use these hog rings that Jim suggested. I did buy a pair of hog, hog ring pliers. I'm gonna to have to, at some point, redo this bottom floor too because uh, I didn't do that properly either. I should have done one side, put these hog rings in, and then stretched it. And that's not what I did. What I did was I stapled both sides in and then did the hog rings as an afterthought. So it's not super level. Another mistake I made was on this side, um, I want to have a, a wooden floor so they have a protected spot from the elements. So I'm probably going to either have to put a few, um, I don't know, pieces of wood, whatever you'd call them, just to, just so that I can put a piece of plywood in there. Sorry, the bugs are terrible. So I can put a piece of plywood in there and then I can take it out if I decide that I, during the summer, if I, if I decide that I want them to be able to get a little bit more aeration in there, then um, I can do that. And then I'm just going to work on the tray. I don't even know if I'm going to put a tray on this. It depends where I put it. I may just, you know, let the droppings fall and then shovel them occasionally, or I may put a tray system in there if I'm going to keep it closer to the house. I, I haven't really decided on that yet. Um, so anyway, just thought I'd give an update. 
Hope everyone's doing awesome out there. Enjoying the weather. It's a balmy 71, I think, here right now in Maine. But we got hit hard last week with, you know, high 90s. So uh, we deserve a little bit of reprieve. reprieve. So anyway, hope everyone's doing awesome out there. Kelly Greenberg out. <laughs>